Good morning, kids. It is Monday, May 24th. Today we are going to be working on some math. Let's continue doing these wonderful decimal word problems. So I am in section five, which should be labeled pink. I'm on page 106, which should be problem number five. I have already completed problems one through four last week. If you have any questions about one, two, three, or four, just review the video that I made. And if you cannot find it, please just message me on Class Dojo. I'm happy to send you a link. All right, let's get started here. It says Celine used 4.08 meters of cloth to sew a dress. She used 1.2 meters less cloth to sew a skirt. How much cloth did Celine need to sew five such skirts? So once again, we need to use our four-step process. Let's start with what we know. I know that she used 4.08 meters of cloth for a dress, okay, for one dress. That's how much she used. And then it says she used 1.2 meters less cloth to sew a skirt. So um, our question here says, how much cloth did Celine need to sew five such skirts? So before we deal with five skirts, let's just deal with one skirt, shall we? So I know how much uh, it takes to sew a dress, and I know that this should be 1.2 meters less to sew a skirt. So let's figure out exactly how much it is to sew one skirt. So I have 4.08 meters of cloth minus 1.2. All right, and as always, make sure your decimal points are lined up and we are doing subtraction here. Um, also, you can add a zero here if you want, or you can just drop this eight down. It should end up being the same thing either way. Here, we're going to need to borrow from this ones column, turn this into a three and make 10 tenths here. Uh, 10 minus 2 is 8, and 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, so now I know that uh, it takes 2.88 meters of cloth to sew a skirt, and I want to know how much we need to sew five such skirts. Such here means uh, we want the same kind of skirts. They should all be the same. So um, what am I going to do? Well, I know the price of one. I'm sorry, not the price. I know how much cloth it takes for one. I want to know how much it takes for five. So I'm going to take 2.88 and I'm going to multiply by five. All right. Eight times five is 40. Bring down the zero, carry the four. And once again, eight times five is 40 again, plus four is 44. Carry the four, we have two times five is 10. We should have 14.40 meters, all right? And also, if you wanna leave this zero off of your answer, that's fine, it won't affect it at all. So how much cloth did Celine need to sew five such skirts? She needed 14.4 meters. All right, let's make sure that all of our math is correct here. Um, also, if you're running into trouble, draw a picture, okay? Here's a dress. You can say this is 4.08. And we know that this is a skirt is, uh, 2.88, or we can just say 4.08 minus 1.2 is 2.88. All right, and we want to know skirts times five. Sorry, these are not the best pictures. I know it gets a little messy here. All right. Um, we should have five such skirts. So we want to know the total of five such skirts. Let's check our math here. 
Sorry, I don't have room for everything. All right. Um, two, well, let's see here. 14.4 divided by five should equal 2.88. Let's see, all right? How many times does five go into 14? I'm using 14 because five cannot fit in one there. So it can fit two times. Five times two is 10. Let's subtract out, drop down your next number. How many times does five go into 40? Four goes in eight times and we are stuck with 40. Um, now we end up with four here. What do we do? We can always add another zero here. And look at that. Okay, 2.88 and is 2.88 uh, 1.2 less than uh, 4.08, it should be. I think my math is correct. All right, let's continue. Number six, Brittany saved $9.20 a week for four weeks. She needed to save another $15.60 to buy a computer game. What was the price of the computer game? All right. So let's see, here's my picture. Start with what we know. These should be equal. I'm gonna mark one of them as 920. All right, so this is weeks one, two, three, and four. And then this, and then we have another fifteen sixty or fifteen dollars sixty cents to buy a computer game. We want to know the price of the game. Question mark. All right. So hopefully uh, we can see what we need to do here. I know that one week. She saved $9.20, all right, a week. We have four weeks here. So our first step should be to multiply $9.20 by the four weeks. This will give us this amount. Do we know how much the computer game is yet? No, because it says she needed to save another $15 dollars 60 cents to buy the game so then i'm going to add this there's a little plus sign here add this to 1560 and that should give us the price of the game there all right so once again nine dollars 20 cents times four let's do some math four times zero is zero two times four is eight don't forget your decimal point Nine times four is da, 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 $36.80, all right? And then that tells me how much for all four weeks here, okay? Then I want to add this to $15.60. And that should tell me how much this computer game is. Seems kind of expensive. But I guess that's what computer games cost. Six and eight is 14. Don't forget to carry your one or put down your decimal point. All right, six and one is seven. This should be 12. Carry your one. We should end up with $52.40. Don't forget your dollar sign. And let's make sure everything makes sense here, okay? Um, we have, we ended up with $52.40. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract this out. $52.40. And I'm going to subtract $15.60 first. And let's see what that leaves us with. Okay, zero minus zero is zero. 
I'm gonna switch colors here and do some borrowing. Let's change these two ones to one one and 10 tenths, 14 minus six is eight. Decimal point, once again, I gotta do some borrowing. This changes to a four. And now I have 11 ones minus five is six ones. All right, now I have 3680 again, 3680. Um, if we add up 920 plus 920 plus 920 uh, plus 920, we should end up with 3680. This seems to be correct, all right? I know that uh, 20 times four is 80. I also know that nine times four is 36. So our math seems to be correct. Let's keep on moving. Problem number seven. All right, um, this one was a little confusing. It says the total mass of two similar clay pots and two similar metal pots. Once again, similar means these are the same kind of pot. Okay, so they're not, you know, one's not big, one's not small. They're all the same. Two similar clay pots and two similar metal pots is 13.2 kilos. The mass of one such clay pot was three times the mass of a metal pot. What is the mass of a clay pot? So um, we know, let's start with what we know. Oh no, we know that our teacher cannot draw on the computer. That's what we know. All right, I'm gonna draw this out and then tell you why I'm setting it up like this, okay? Um, we know that we have two clay pots, which I've made kind of big and then two metal pots, which I've made kind of small, all right? We know the grand total for all of these is 13.2. And now I will explain why I've made these clay pots such so big here. It says the mass of one such clay pot was three times the mass of a metal pot. So we know that each clay pot is three times bigger than each metal pot. Maybe not in size, but the weight of it. Okay, so I'm gonna divide this into three parts. Divide this into three parts. Those are my two clay pots. Now they're equal or in a perfect world with teachers perfect drawings. They should be equal sizes, all right? So now it says, what was the mass of a clay pot? Okay. Now let's figure this out here. I have 13.2 and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts that equal 13.2, okay? So I'm gonna take 13.2 and I'm going to divide by eight and that will give me one section, which still does not solve our problem, but it'll get us a step closer here, all right? So once again, eight does not fit into one. So I'm moving on to my three here. How many times does eight fit into 13? Well, it fits in once. 13 minus eight is five. Bring down your two. Don't forget your decimal point in the answer section. Um, six times eight is 48. I think that is the closest we are gonna get here. All right, 52 minus 48 should be four. And then what am I gonna do here? Once again, I can always add more zeros. And hey, look at that. Eight times five is 40. And then this should end up being zero at the end here. All right, so we have 1.65. What does that mean? All right, we are in kilograms or kg, first of all. We have only solved for the mass of a metal pot, okay? That means each one of these sections is worth 1.65, which is equal to what a metal pot is. However, we wanna know the mass or the weight of a clay pot. So we know that 
each of these is three times a metal pot. So what am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna take 1.65 and I'm going to multiply by three. And this should give us our answer. Five times three is 15. Carry the one, six times three is 18 plus one. Don't forget your decimal point. Um, whoops, I'm confusing myself. And don't forget to carry your one, teacher Ramsey. All right, one times three is three. I should end up with 4.95 kg. And let's make sure we check our math, okay? Um, let's see, 4.95, here, let me actually do it this way. 4.95 is one clay pot. I have two clay pots, 4.95. And then I'm saying that 1.65 and 1.65, all of this should add up to 13.2, if our math is correct, all right? Because we have these two clay pots, which are three times the amount of a metal pot. Okay, that makes sense. And then I've got two metal pots over here. So five plus five plus five plus five is 20. Carry your two. Nine and nine is 18, plus two is 20 plus another 12, this should be 32. Carry the three. All right, now I have four plus four plus one plus one is eight plus this extra three. Um, oh no, sorry. Four plus four plus one plus one is 10 plus another three is 13. Okay, there you go. That's why we checked the math there. All right, so look at that. I ended up with 13.20, which is the same as 13.2. I know everything is good in the world. All right, number eight. Jamie spent a total of $11.60 on five identical pens. All right, um, identical means these pens are exactly the same. All right, they're all the same color and the same size. All right. Um, five identical pens and a ruler. A ruler costs $1.30 less than a pen. How much did each pen cost? So this one, we have five pens here. Boop, 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 boop. All right, I got five pens plus a ruler. Do, 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 equals. 11.60 or $11.60. All right, and a ruler costs $1.30 less than a pen. How much did each pen cost? So here I'm actually, um, I think an easy way to do this is because I know that a ruler costs a pen minus 130, I'm just going to add this 130 with 1160. This will give me the cost of six pens. Then I can just divide by six, and then I can figure out how much each pen or how much one pen costs. So let's do that. So once again, I'm just taking 1160. Actually, I can just do it right here. 1160. I'm going to add. I'm going to add this 130, $1.30. Here's my plus sign. Whoopsie, that's not a plus sign, that's a four. Okay, zero plus zero is zero. Six and three is nine. Don't forget your decimal point. We should end up with $12.90. Now, what did I just do once more? I know that the ruler costs uh, $1.30 less than a pen. So I have just added it back. And now $12.90 gives me the price of six pens. So then I'm just going to divide $12.90 by six. And let's see what happens. This will give me the price of one pen. And of course, I don't have room for all of this. 
Make sure you're doing these drawings and all this stuff. All right, six goes into 12, two times, exactly. This is gonna be zero. Let's move on to this nine. Six fits in one time into nine. Nine minus six is three. Bring down your zero. Six goes into 30 five times, and that is an exact number there. All right, so now we have 215, all right? $2.15, those are expensive pens. I'm sure they must be pretty nice, okay? So um, let's make sure we are correct. So he should have spent a total of $11.60, all right? So I know um, that five pens, he bought five pens. Let's see here. So I'm going to take $2.15, which is our answer. How much did each pen cost? I'm gonna multiply by five because he bought five pens. Five times five is 25. Carry the two. One times five is five plus two is seven. And two times five is 10. All right, this just gave us the answer for uh, five pens. Our total was 1160. I'm still checking, I just wanna make sure here. 1160 minus 1075 should give us the price of our ruler. All right, and I'm gonna switch colors and do some borrowing here, all right? This six becomes a five, and we are going to make 10 hundredths here. 10 minus five is five. All right, once again, we gotta do some borrowing. This becomes a zero, and now I have 15 tenths minus seven should be eight tenths. Zero minus zero is zero, one minus, all right. So now it says this ruler costs 85 cents. Does that make sense? Maybe, let's find out is 85 $1.30 less than $2.15? It should be. Lots of checking on this problem. That's okay, it's important. We have the correct answer. All right, five minus zero is five. Oopsie, let me change colors, do some borrowing here. This becomes a one. Uh, this becomes 11. 11 minus 3 is 8. Oh, it seems like things are going to work out. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, yes, this is $1.30 less than $2.15. So, I know my math is correct. I know that each pen costs this $2.15. Make sure you write all this down. I don't think we can do this in our heads, boys and girls. Don't skip steps. It's going to confuse you. All right, last one, number nine. The distance from Timothy's house to his school was 9.18 kilometers. He traveled by bus for part of the journey and walked the rest of the way. The distance he walked was 7.95 kilometers less then the distance he traveled by bus, how far did he walk? All right, this is just a simple subtraction problem. We start, our total here is 9.18. And it said the distance he walked is nine, so I'm sorry, 7.95 kilometers less. So this means he was uh, on the bus for quite some time here. All right, so I'm just subtracting um, eight minus five, sorry, eight minus five is three. I'm just looking at this because I'm gonna have to do some borrowing. I'm gonna change that to eight ones. And now I have 11 tenths minus nine tenths is two tenths. Eight minus seven is one. All right, so it appears to me that Timothy walked uh, 1.23 
kilometers, and then he was took the bus for 7.95 kilometers for a grand total of 9.18 kilometers. And that is all for this math problem. This one doesn't seem too difficult. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything here. How far did he walk? Yes, he walked 1.23 kilometers. All right, I think my math is correct here. Um, this is just simple subtraction. That's all for now, kids. Uh, we can go over this in class. Also, I'm going to give you some more homework on quizzes. Make sure you do it, please. Bye-bye.